assalamu alaikum uh, dear students today we are going to study acid rain and its causes so what is acid rain as the name suggests acid rain means rain that is acidic if we simply put it then it means rain that is acidic in nature or this acid rain or we call it as acid deposition it's a broad term that includes any form of precipitation with acidic components such as sulfuric acid and nitric acid uh, that fall to the ground from the atmosphere in either wet or dry forms uh, this includes rain snow fog or even dust that is acid so as i told you uh, if we put it in simpler terms it means rain that is acidic in nature due to the presence of certain pollutants in the air and those certain pollutants are sulfuric uh, sulfur uh, dioxide and nitrogen oxides so this acid rain is precipitation uh, having a ph less than 5.6 and uh, the principal constituents of acid rain are nitric and sulfuric acid Uh, which are formed by the chemical reaction of nitrogen and sulfur uh, oxides with water vapor in the atmosphere this acid rain is unusually acidic that means it has elevated or higher levels of uh, you know uh, hydrogen ions or h positive ions you might have studied about uh, you know acids and bases in your chemistry uh, maybe so any substance like uh, that has you know higher concentration of h positive ions is acidic and uh, or you can say its ph is low and this acid rain have you know it can have harmful effects on plants aquatic animals and infrastructure as well so acid rain is a type of acid deposition which can appear in many forms it can be a wet deposition or a dry deposition so wet deposition is rain sleet snow or fog that has become more acidic than normal and uh, dry deposition is another form of acid deposition and uh, this is when gases and dust particles become acidic so when uh, dust particles you know are acidic so they are called as acid particles and gases so we call them as dry deposition and uh, wet deposition is like acid snow and acid rain is like uh, we call them as wet deposition so how are they formed like when nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxides are released into the atmosphere from the factories from the thermal power plants from the vehicles so what happens in the atmosphere these oxides of sulfur and nitrogen reacts with water and leads to the formation of acids like sulfuric acid and nitric acid so this is how uh, these you know uh, how this acid rain is formed so when uh, oxides of uh, nitrogen we call them as nox uh, they are released from the vehicles so when these oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur that are released from the thermal power plants uh, you know where fossil fuels are burned so they release oxides of uh, sulfur and these oxides of sulfur and oxides of nitrogen react with water and leads to the formation of uh, nitric acid and uh, sulfuric acid which later on comes down in the form of rain and we call it as acid rain or it can come down in the form of acid snow and uh, which later on affects plants and it can also you know or cause acidification of our, uh, of our lakes and water bodies uh, which we will uh, talk about in our next lecture so let's have a look at the reaction like how this uh, you know acid is formed in the atmosphere like nitrogen monoxide uh, when these oxides of nitrogen are released from the vehicles these oxides of nitrogen uh, you know react with oxygen and uh, form nitrogen dioxide and this nitrogen dioxide uh, later on reacts with water and uh, forms nitric acid and nitrous acid so likewise sulfur dioxide are released from the you know uh, these sulfur dioxide are released from the thermal power plant from the industries where fossil fuels are burnt uh, fossil fuels like coal etc 
सो दिस सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड रिएक्ट्स विद ऑक्सीजन इन द एटमॉस्फेयर एंड फॉर्म सल्फर ट्राइऑक्साइड एंड सल्फर ट्राइऑक्साइड लेटर ऑन इट रिएक्ट्स विद वाटर एंड लीड्स टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सो दिस इज हाउ दीज एसिड्स आर फॉर्म्ड इन द एटमॉस्फेयर नॉर्मली यू नो रेन वाटर इज स्लाइटली एसिडिक Uh, the and the ph of rain water is 5.6 so now you might be thinking like why is rain water acidic what makes it uh, makes it acidic we know that we have like carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere naturally and this carbon dioxide you know it can react with the water water vapors that are present in the atmosphere and uh, it can form carbonic acid that's h2 co3 so that is why pure rain water is slightly acidic and uh, the ph is 5.6 let's have a look at the ph scale this is the ph scale it ranges from uh, 0 to 14 any substance that has ph of 7 is neutral like we have pure water pure water is neutral it has a ph of 7 so any substance having ph less than 7 is acidic so this is increasing acidity and any substance that has ph more than 7 is alkaline all right so acid rain has you know ph less than 5.6 so when the rain water has a ph less than 6 we call it as acid rain so this is how uh, you know the reaction takes place in the atmosphere so what are the causes of acid rain uh, like there are like both natural and man made causes uh, lightning strike in the atmosphere uh, release nitrogen ions and uh, sulfur is released from the volcanic eruptions um, because volcanic eruptions release loads of uh, gases like carbon dioxide uh, sulfur dioxide hydrogen sulfide methane carbon monoxide etc so these are the natural you know causes of acid rain however majority of these gases are released from the man made sources uh, like we have the fossil fuel combustion so when fossil fuels are burnt in uh, you know thermal power plants in industries uh, these fossil fuels release uh, sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere which later on uh, you know leads to the formation of acid rain in the united states around 2/3 of sulfur dioxide and 1/4 of nitrogen oxide in the atmosphere are released from the electric power generation due to the burning of fossil fuels the emission from the vehicles as i told you the vehicles the emissions and the or the exhaust that you know is released from the vehicles uh, that comes out of the vehicles release uh, nitrogen oxides in the uh, into the atmosphere and uh, which later on leads to the formation of nitric acid so the more vehicles we have the more risk of acid rain is there all right so this is all about the acid rain and its causes so our next topic would be the effects of acid rain this is all for today thank you have a nice day